If you've been struggling with Roblox lag, high ping, or low FPS, especially after the recent update, and especially because they removed any fast flags which can lower your ping, you're gonna know exactly how defeating it is when you just, you're missing out on wins, or your just game feels horrible because you cannot enjoy smooth gameplay. For a while, as someone who actually has good internet, I've been experiencing the same thing. I've had constant ping spikes, input delay, frame drops, and my Roblox is just less fun to play. And even Fortnite, man, I, I don't know, every game really, I think someone's in the air, but today, I'm going to introduce you to one tool that generally fixed all of these problems for me. Watch to the end. We're going to show exactly how it works. And you don't want to miss anything because this needs to be set up correctly. We're going to go over exactly how it works, how to set it up. And I'm going to show you why it's so special for Roblox in particular. Other games as well. But seriously, it has everything. Connection tweaks, FPS boosts. You're going to wish you found it sooner. So no ping. I'm going to leave a link down below so you can go and download it and follow this video with me. But it literally takes two seconds to install and it's completely free to do so. Hopping straight into this starting with the connections tab and the pc here you're going to optimize your internet routes for thousands of games literally thousands i'm not going to go through them all but as you can see it's literally making my pc lag how many there is okay that's insane quite literally thousands um and obviously i want roblox here we go roblox you're going to want to select whatever game it may be in this case again roblox you're going to select your game and now noping is going to use ai to suggest you the best server so if i go here i'm on europe this is where i live europe within europe you can see i've got all these servers right here and if i didn't use this my game would try and just get me on whatever's easier so it'd probably be london or maybe in some cases with roblox especially it's putting me on north america look at it like 100 milliseconds of response time this is basically 100 ping or if you see here like 106 ping estimated ping that's insane of course i do not want to be here and i definitely don't even want to be over here i want to be on the amsterdam server because for me that has the lowest ping and I can only do this with no ping, by the way. But yeah, super simple. This is going to be the lowest latency. I want to press automatically optimize right here. It means every time I launch my game, it's going to do this for me. And quite simply, I can just press optimize game. And there we go. Within a click of a button, I think downloading it and pressing that and just the whole thing takes maybe two minutes, if that. But so you understand what this is now doing is no ping is rerouting my traffic. So my internet traffic is getting rerouted with an advanced multi-route VPN technology. It reduces ping stabilizes connection and minimizes packet loss so this works even if my internet provider's routing is less efficient so don't worry if you have not so great internet this improves it literally i'm moving down to the multi-internet tab this is a new feature but if i literally just select enable this lets me combine multiple internet connections simultaneously for better you know redundancy and speed so if i have a wi-fi i've got a wireless internet connection but i also have an ethernet cable this combines the power of basically both of them so you get the the power of your wireless plus the ethernet combine it basically then you squeeze everything out of that router all the bandwidth essentially and it does in a way where it intelligently manages the traffic so it isn't going to overwhelm things either now i ran tests with this in fortnite and i went from having double digit ping i think i had about 14 i'll show on screen to literally dropping to between zero and two ping but i dropped lowest to zero ping like to go from double digits to zero ping is insane it's unheard of actually of course for any game but competitive roblox if that's something you play smoother ping gives you better response times it's incredible for aiming it helps your movement reaction times absolutely everything but that isn't all no ping does in the hardware tab they have a lot of boost fps tools and i say tools quite simply buttons that you click and it does all the job for you i think there's like 50 plus tweaks here again those switchable literally on off toggle on and off it takes like one second to enable these and one second to disable them if that actually and these are of course designed to maximize your performance you even have a toggle bar up here and it'll tell you how much you've optimized like you ideally want to get closer to 100 now if you don't know what some of these do they do have a description but you can hover over the more info and it's going to tell you for example right here the home gaming mode it's a feature that optimizes system performance for games automatically adjusts the resource allocation on your cpu i believe or memory and minimizes interruptions of course all of this sounds good it says by enabling this service you can improve stability and frame rate during games now who wouldn't want that of course now it says it's power hungry there are a few disclaimers on some of them now this is if you have a laptop for the most part if you have a laptop i think if you have a computer you're not going to worry about this as much but nonetheless something to be mindful of regardless some of them will also say feature breaking again you can go to the more info tab and it's going to tell you exactly what is going on and you can really judge from this if you're going to need it now when this is feature breaking it really is as simple as okay do i need what it's disabling for example right here it says that the windows program compatibility assistance helps games or older games run new version of windows so let's say windows 11 
11. Now, if you don't have Windows 11, this probably won't be an issue for you. It isn't going to break anything. But if you have Windows 11 and you're playing really old games, so not Fortnite, not games that are currently getting updates, then yeah, maybe you won't want to have this feature turned on. But honestly, even if you avoided all the ones with disclaimers, because let's say you were too lazy, you didn't want to look into it, and just enabled all the other ones, just like I did, you could see an increase of like 100 FPS. You can see right here, I was peaking at like 750 frames, but dropping below 600. So I was sitting at an average of 650 FPS. After doing less than 50% of the optimizations, the lowest I was dropping was 650, and I was sitting comfortably above 700 FPS. And of course, the benchmarks I did were in Fortnite. Now imagine Roblox. It would be far more more than that. Oh, and I also forgot to mention they do have these presets at the top. For a balanced or uh, automatic setup, you can just enable the standard windows. But of course, for the best results, you should take your time and have a look through. And I've only just noticed this, but there's literally a backup feature. So you can enable backups. What it's going to do is it will create a restore point for you in Windows. And it means if you ever want to revert your changes in a click of a button, you can do so right here. And even if you're actually changing things outside of NoPink, you can go in here, create a restore point, and it's going to keep your system safe if anything you then change breaks it. But rest assured, nothing in NoPink is going to do that. And honestly, why I'm here, I thought I'd mention it. They have this extras tab and they have something called Green Aim. What it is, is it's a built in aim trainer built into the software, of course, designed to improve your aim. For things like Roblox Rivals or even Obbies, which require you to have like fast clicks, this will boost your tracking. It's going to give you better speed, reaction time, precision. It's going to feel like you actually have better ping and FPS combined with you having better ping than FPS. It's just going to be an amazing experience. They also have a pro settings tab. Now, Roblox isn't on here, but let's say you play Fortnite, you can go in here and it's going to give you a ton of pro players and all their settings. Like, yeah, you can just steal them right here. It's this guy called Commandment. He looks so much like Peterbot. Right here, I can just copy his entire settings. They have an audio pad section, which is new to me, but I figured it lets you customize and manage different audio inputs for your voice chat. You can adjust your mic sensitivity, filter out background noises, set profiles, and basically make your mic sound just like mine. I have an very expensive microphone. And if I knew I could have done it in here with a cheaper microphone, I wouldn't have spent so much money. And last but not least, and last but definitely not least, they have something called Replay X. And as it says, clip your best gameplays and watch them back whenever you want. This is basically shadow play, but better or metal, but better. It uses less resources as well on your PC. So obviously these things have to run in the background and constantly, you know, be kind of running so they can clip things. And this does so in a very optimized, streamlined way. It doesn't take up too much resources. It isn't going to lower your FPS. It's honestly perfect for people that want to record but have low end PCs or even are sitting on laptops. Personally, I'm making the switch to this. I think it'd be ideal for like Roblox montages. If you're even recording tutorial videos or just you know, general gameplay, I think next time you see footage in my video or even the Roblox footage you've seen on screen throughout this video, it was probably captured with Replay X. But to recap, I'm going to give you a step by step guide right now on how you can use no ping from zero to hero with Roblox. All you need to do, again, download it. Link is going to be down below, top of the description, pin comment. It's an exclusive link. Go and get it. You're going to want to log in, create an account. I don't think you need to do this, but new users get a seven day free trial. You get all the features. You can cancel at any time. And to download it is completely free. As I showed you at the start, the first tab you have is going to let you select your game. You're going to go in there, search for whatever game it may be. Let's say it's Roblox. You're going to let no ping pick the best, lowest ping sub for you. Then you want to click optimize and that's it. You're done. You can now with just another 20 seconds of your time, put on some FPS tweaks, go through the boost FPS panel. And once you've done all that, you can then go and do some aim training or fix your audio or just steal some settings and then go and clip them with Replay X. It's like, has everything you need. Honestly, I think if you were setting up a new PC, you wouldn't have to do any of optimization. I've got thousands of videos on my channel. You wouldn't have to do any of those videos. You just need this program and it'll do it all for you. And although I touched on it briefly, just to make it very clear, the tech behind no ping is that it uses global VPN servers, essentially, and intelligent route algorithms so you can kind of think of this as a internet GPS for your games. So to put it simply, if your default path to Roblox is slow or unstable, no ping reroutes that path and puts you into the fastest path, the fastest lane, which means you then have the safest and most reliable connection. Of course, this means consistent ping, fewer disconnects, optimized packet delivery, and it updates these routes constantly in real time. And it does it in the background. You don't have to worry about it. And this means you're getting peak performance, 
24 7. That's it for me. I think it does a talking for itself. Every new user is going to get seven days for free with a link in the description. This gives you unlimited access to every feature. It's completely risk free. So go down below again, simply sign up with my exclusive link. You can start optimizing, cancel anytime if you're not satisfied. But just remember, you need to launch Roblox through no pings for these benefits. There's no other way around it, and there's no other software for it. So yeah, it's a no brainer. You want to experience low ping, high FPS, better gameplay, go and give it a shot. You don't have to take my word for it. I've shown proof, but try it for yourself. And just let me know in the comments if you enjoyed this. Hit like, subscribe, all the good stuff. And yeah, I hope I could put you guys on today.